In general terms then, how do you see technology changing the agency landscape, especially when it comes to the network levels, how do you see that developing? Well, it, it, the first change is probably the nature of the client, so because the, the fact that it's sort of, left, I can't remember if it's left brain or right brain or mad men and maths men. Um, you know, traditionally our clients would be, we'd like to think CEO, but they say it's CEO, CMOs, but now chief in information officers or chief technology officers. So, you know, there's the procurement officers obviously in finance, but we're now getting into the technology piece. So I think the first thing is the nature of the clients changing in a way. And a lot of, there's a lot of debate as who's going to control the budget. Is it going to be this chief marketing officer or the chief technology officer? And I think that ultimately will depend. There won't be a, an answer to that other than determined by the power bases or personalities or the individuals, and there might be somebody who brings them all together, who knows, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So I think that's one change. For, from the point of view of the, the agencies, um, the capabilities of the agencies have to change, obviously, as a result. So, you know, we've seen agencies that historically been very strong creatively in a traditional sense, you know, 30-second TV commercials, unable or, or you know, sort of stumbling in the, around in the dark, trying to alter what they do, uh, given the, the rise of technology. And uh, those, those agencies that were dominant, let's say, uh, four, five, ten years ago, uh, are having great difficulty now because clients uh, yawn when they get uh, a 30 second TV ad, however beautifully produced and however you know, stunning the, the recording artists or whatever it happens to be, the, the, the music artists are or whatever the music is. So, it, the game has changed. So you have to, if you're running a, a traditional agency, you obviously have to change the nature of the people. You have to broaden the nature of creativity. And then the linkages to the media agency, you know, this big debate about whether it's the medium that's more important than the message or the message more important than the medium. I mean, largely, that becomes not irrelevant, but of less importance if they're working very closely together. So I think the answer to your question is that, that um, apart from the fact that the top line is altered, meaning the nature of the client is altered and the client client is altered, so you have to ha have a different type of person from a strategic thinking point of view, planning point of view, and account management point of view. Um, you know, in the creative area and the execution area, you have to have you know programmers and engineers and and scientists and mathematicians or people who understand that and understand that capability. And it, it, need, it, needs, it does need a different type of agency and people working together. You know, not, not like somebody starting an agency and, and, and giving an article to the drum and say, you know, I'm going to do everything in a seamless way because um, he's one person, so he can be seamless, mm -hmm. but, or she. But doing it in a, the teams that we put together for our major clients, our 41 biggest clients would be good examples of that, where we're trying to, to leverage our capabilities internally to deliver the best people that they want working on their business.